Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's uh, six o'clock on Sunday the 27th of June. Just making my way down to the land and as always, not quite sure what we're gonna get done today, but let's find out. Well, here we are down on the land. It's nice to see the uh, clean looking entrance to the field since I uh, got the strimmer out yesterday. <clears throat> it's another uh, cool morning. Didn't have the rain that was promised yesterday. Had a little tiny bit during the night, but <clears throat> nothing dramatic. It's all looking very nice around here, nice and green and fresh. Look at all this clover. It is on every part of the field now. Those who've been watching the channel for a long time will know that when I first came here, all of this area, all the way down here, well, in fact, everything that I've just walked <laughs> was completely overgrown. And the thistles and the grass were actually higher than this tree, which comes about to my shoulder level. So, real dramatic change. You can see where I've been strimming yesterday. Anyway, not sure what we'll get done today. I'm guessing though, that if it stays like this, we'll be doing a bit of grass cutting. <laughs> I know this drives, <clears throat> it is wet still, but oh, it's not sopping wet. I know that uh, the grass cutting drives some people a little bit crazy. <laughs> and apologies for that, but I want this to stay like this and not return to its former, well, like that, I guess. <laughs> jungle of thistles and nettles and grass anyway let me get down to the cabin get opened up i can already see the chickens out looking very expectant so i'll keep you posted with whatever it is we do get up to as we go through the day as usual first things first sorting out the chickens these red ones just hang around me. <laughs> it's like they're expecting me to suddenly produce something extra just for them. <laughs> uh, which to be fair, sometimes I do. Sometimes I come with the greenery, but uh, they're all enjoying their little bit of mixed seed this morning. Let's take a little look in the coop. I'm not expecting much in here because I cleaned out yesterday. <sighs> But uh, let's take a little look. It's a bit early for them. Nothing, 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 nothing. So no surprises there. I topped the feed and the water up yesterday. Um, I'm just debating. I need a clean out. They are messy. <laughs> I need a little clean out, but I'm just debating whether I do a full clean this floor has held up really really well i am surprised really surprised i don't know i'll think about it i'm more interested in getting the kettle on to be honest ah <laughs> oh dear yeah i could do with a bit of a grass cut this morning i'm hoping that uh, the rain stays off and i can uh, get little red tractor out at least run up this side that's nearest to the trees because this is the bit that gets the longest the quickest but I do need to tidy up a little bit where I've strimmed you can see there's some quite chunky bits of weed thistle nettle um, and if I run over that when it's wet it's just going to clog the tractor's blades up so uh, I'll have a little run round and tidy up the mess I made yesterday Beautiful morning. Birds tweeting away. 
it'll not stay that way because people will start waking up. <laughs> In fact, I'm surprised I've not heard any joggers running down the, uh, the bridle way that comes behind the wooded area here. Uh, some of them are ridiculously noisy. Uh, they've got music blaring away as they walk or jog. And it does annoy me sometimes. Anyway, let me get in the cabin, get the kettle on, and we'll see what can get done. Ooh, got a bit of a sweat on there. <laughs> you know how you think, I'll just do something quick while the kettle boils. <laughs> well, I thought that. I started clearing out the, uh, the grass and weeds and nettles and thistles and stuff that I'd been strumming yesterday. And uh, I ended up coming back in to turn the kettle off because I'd started and I wanted to finish. <laughs> It's so easy to get distracted. Anyway, I've got my coffee, so I'll have a quick five minutes, uh, calm down a little bit. I don't know if you can hear. I was having a bit of a rant earlier about people walking by on the bridal way. Uh, I don't know where it is, but people that are walking by in a group of like two or three, just side by side, feel the need to shout. <laughs> I can hear it clear across the field. It's like they're shouting to somebody way off in the distance. Um, it's annoying to say the least. <laughs> it should be a nice, quiet, peaceful morning, just busying myself here on the field without listening to somebody recounting their tales of the pub last night or as sometimes happens, they've got like a little radio or a tape player with them and it's blaring out. Anyway, I'm starting to rant again, so apologies for that. It's Sunday already. Where does the weekend go to? Wherever you are, wherever you're doing, I hope you're staying safe and well and enjoying your weekend. Don't forget to do your preps. I had a comment in uh, yesterday's video from, I think it was Paul Oaks. Um, I was talking about shrinkflation. In fact, I talk about shrinkflation quite regularly. Uh, if the prices aren't going up for your regular tin, bottle, jar, pack, whatever it is, um, the manufacturers and the supermarkets try and uh, bluff everybody that they're price matching and they're keeping their prices low or they're rolling back their prices to 2010. Uh, well, actually, they're not. They're just reducing the size of the pack and charging the same for it. Um, so, yeah, people do seem to be um, noticing now more than they used to. And I think that's because the economy in general is fragile. And people are a little bit concerned about future job security, availability of stuff in the stores, so on and so forth. So... Although I might seem to harp on about the same old things, 
um, it is for good reason. It's to try and get more people to notice and to start doing something to protect themselves. Little insurance policy tucked away in the cupboard uh, because prices are, as I keep saying, just going one way, they're going up. Um, in terms of what to do today, the, the sky is grey and threatening. It did say last night on the forecast, 80% chance of rain, and that didn't actually happen. Um, so I'm going to try and take advantage this morning, early on, and uh, just pull out a little red tractor and have a little run and see uh, how it cuts. Um, other bits and pieces to do. Um, I'll do some more watering in the polytunnel and the garden room, try and keep on top of that. I keep glancing at these cauliflower seedlings. They are coming on really strongly now. I'm in two minds. Do I plant them out in the bed or do I leave them for another week? I'm just a little bit worried about them getting too leggy. Um, but on the same on the other side, I'm, I'm a bit worried. I don't want a repetition of the rabbits getting into those raised beds. I don't think they can or should be able to now. But having had an entire bed taken out, I am a little bit nervous. Um, videos wouldn't be the same without some painting. <laughs> I put a gate on the, uh, the fenced area for the raised beds. Couple of weeks ago now, haven't got round to painting that yet. I should. Similarly, I pulled out one of those pallet collars to increase the height of that new bed with a little arch on it. And I haven't painted that yet, and I should. <laughs> As I sit here pondering, more and more little jobs keep cropping up. So I don't know what we'll get up to, but whatever it is we get up to, I'll keep you posted as we go through the day. Well, last little red tractor out. I'll give it a little run up the field, see just how wet it is, and uh, if we can cope with cutting it or not. Well, it's cutting. It is clogging a little bit, but not too much. So I'm going to keep cracking on because these clouds keep threatening the rain. So hopefully I can push up a little bit further up the field. I've got quite a bit done already. I've got uh, halfway up this uh, woodland side. You can probably see where the clover starts <laughs> and the uh, tidy looking grass finishes. So there's still plenty to do, but uh, it's nice just pottering away and it's looking very nice so 
let's keep pushing on. Well, we're slowly getting there. All the way down the side of the woodland is done. It's looking very nice and tidy. All the way down to the end of the field by the roadside. You can tell the difference <laughs> where that clover is, where I've, uh, I've cut. So we've got uh, across that section there, down by the roadside to do. Uh, I've been lucky really, the rain's held off. Um, so I'll keep cracking on now, try and finish that bit by the roadside and see where we are. Plenty of food left for the bees. <laughs> and they've got so much clover, I don't think they know what to do with it. But uh, this is looking real nice, pleased with this. Well, there we go. That's all the way down the woodland side done. And all of this area around by the, uh, the roadside and the entrance. So it's looking very nice. Little Red Tractor's worked its socks off this morning. I think it's time we went down, emptied this bag of uh, grass cuttings and it can have a rest and so can I. <laughs> it's time for coffee, I think. Well, Little Red Tractor's just having a little rest. I've just emptied out the grass cuttings. I've uh, done what I've done a few times. Right at that top end, I've started uh, putting some grass cuttings down the uh, bottom of the woodland just to try and get a bit of soil growth because it's very, very bare, barren up there. Chickens have got some grass cuttings as well, so they're all busy pecking away at that. So that's nice. So it's time for me now. <laughs> I need to go and get a cup of coffee. Time, as usual, is just flying by. Well, making progress with the grass, I think I've got more in my hair, or what bit of hair I've got. <laughs> Every time I crawl under that basket to try and get into the, uh, the eject tube where the grass cuttings come out into the box, I always manage to get covered in cuttings. Um, I just quick, very quick break with this coffee. Uh, I think the weather's turning. It's getting darker and darker and the wind is picking up and I think it's only a matter of time before it starts raining so I'm just going to stop cutting the grass now even though I did want to do more I'm going to get that painting done um, if I can get that done this bit of wind should dry it out just in case we do get some rain and it's been bugging me but it needs doing um, a couple of people have commented in yesterday's video so I just thought I'd quickly take the chance to reply. Uh, Simon Terry was asking where my land is. I couldn't actually reply on uh, your comment for some reason. It wouldn't let me post a reply. Not sure why that is, but the land's in North Lincolnshire. Um, Hedgehog UK has commented about strawberries and the amount of yield you get from the plants. Um, you're right, <laughs> it would probably be a bit cheaper to buy a big box from the supermarket. Um, but I've tried to get the, um, the runners on the strawberries to plant and root and gradually increase the number of plants I've got uh, from three that survived last year. Um, I've probably got, I don't know, 20, 25, maybe more than that. And I'll do the same this year. I'll just keep expanding the number of uh, shoots that I uh, root to get more plants. Um, while we're on the subject of crop yields, um, you saw that first potato harvest. I did expect a bit more based on last year out of that container. Um, but this year has been really weird. We were really late with frosts. Um, then we went through that really prolonged mini heat wave. So I think all of the planting really has been knocked back at least a month maybe more in terms of when it would normally harvest. Um, and you'll have seen in the videos, I've 
had lots of failures with um, seed germination this year. I'm guessing for the same reason. The temperature has just been up and down, up and down like a yo-yo. And then we went through that, <laughs> that heat wave where I really struggled to keep on top of the watering. Um, but I do show the success and the failure. I don't just stage, I don't stage anything. Well, I stage the camera when I'm doing a clip, but you know what I mean. Uh, what you see is what I'm doing, what works and what doesn't. So if something doesn't work, I'll tell you it doesn't work in the video, as I have been doing. <laughs> um, Hedgehog also mentioned transport. I think I've touched on it in a few videos. I might have touched it yesterday and maybe even a little bit this morning. I don't know. <laughs> I forget what I've said in all honesty as I go through the day. Um, but yeah, there is a problem with trucks well any kind of delivery vehicle because there's just been such a massive boom in online shopping and there are warehouses springing up i know in my local area this last year these huge huge warehouses just seem to get thrown up um and they are being rented out to people like amazon and these other delivery driver companies uh, you know the ones you order dpd um, things like that so given the boom in online shopping and then as a result of that warehousing and door-to-door -door deliveries I guess it's no surprise that there is a problem in the supply chain um, and it's not going to resolve itself anytime quick certainly not this year so as I keep saying take advantage now get stuff while it's available get it while it's at the price it's at now don't be putting it off and thinking oh I'll wait till it gets cheaper because um, it ain't going to <laughs> anyway yeah I just thought I'd reply to those couple of comments because one of them was quite lengthy and saved me trying to type out when I could be cracking on with the jobs here um, so enjoy your weekend I'm going to get cracking now because I can see it is getting darker and darker and I am nervous it's going to start raining so I'll get this coffee down me as quick as I can and uh, I'll keep you posted Well, this has taken a lot longer than I expected it to, <laughs> but then everything always does, doesn't it? It's not just a flat surface, unfortunately. It's made up of lots of little railings, which are really fiddly to get into. But we're making progress and it's not started raining yet, which is good. So, that's the inside done, just got to get the outside done. Well, it's slow, damn slow, but we're nearly done. Nearly done. <laughs> just a bit of tidying up on the inside where I've splashed a bit but there we go It's a bit rough and ready, but it is a raised bed. <laughs> it's, I'm not painting my living room. Well, there we go. That's the pallet collar done. Inside and out. Look at that. I've not even managed to drink that coffee that I was having in the cabin when I was chatting with you. I was conscious that it feels like this rain's coming so I wanted to get this done so there's the gate 
inside and out excellent right next on the agenda <laughs> i'm conscious i've not watered inside the polytunnel or the garden room yet and i do need to keep on top of that the day is flying by one bit of me wants to do a bit more cutting of the grass one bit of me wants to get watering in the polytunnel i don't know have you seen all the flowers on these potatoes look at this How nice is that? Loads of flowers. And the same on these, this other variety here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of flowers. Loads of them. Ah. I'm really pleased with the potatoes this year. Really pleased. Oh, hang on. Have I got some strawberries? <laughs> Oh, it's not quite ready. I could eat it, but I won't. I'll save it for when I come down during the week, but I will eat that one. That's done. Mm. Corn doing well. Oh, look at this. It's been, oh, that's not quite ready. But that one is. And that one is. Come on. <laughs> There's two more. Mmm. Really sweet. And there's a load more coming. Right. Enough pinching strawberries. <laughs> Let's get cracked on. I'll get that watering done first, I think. And see where we are once I've done that because this does take a while and I'll need to fill those cans up as well uh, flowers lots of flowers on all of them that lavender's looking beautiful look at that how nice is that and cucumbers also if I can get in. Lots of flowers down there, look. Can you see those? Hoping you can. And on this one. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, enough talking. Let's get cracking with the watering. <laughs> Tomatoes are doing well, to be fair. Given the uh, the abuse they've had with the weather, I really didn't expect them. Last week when I came down, I didn't really expect them to survive. I do try my best to get in. I always come every second day, but I try my best to get in daily, but with work and normal household stuff sometimes it's just not possible anyway they're doing well and I'll do my best this next week to keep on top of them again carrots are doing real well I'll give all of this a quick water and then I'll come back once it's had a chance to soak in and I'll do it again. But I've just noticed something down there which uh, I'll show you in a second. That's the last four buckets of carrots that I uh, put the seeds in. That'll be what? Two, two weeks ago. This weekend will be two weeks. And look, there we go. Seed, seed, seed. Germinating away. <laughs> Same in this one, germinating, and that one, and that one. So, that's not too bad. They're coming through. Just got to keep on top of this succession planting. So I think next weekend, 
I might be tempted to put some more in and uh, just keep them going because they are doing really well really well anyway garden room needs watering <laughs> I'm doing my best with these uh, these fruit trees to try and keep on top of these big debate as to where where to put these and when so if anybody's got any suggestions please do feel free to comment should I plant them in the field like I did the other ones that got trashed <laughs> I have got tree guards but that didn't even work last year with the other ones do I plant them inside the fenced area where the raised beds are uh, somewhere near the actual fence line but on the inside obviously or do I just keep them in pots until next year and put them out in the spring what do you think let me know in the comments section I have plenty of water on these so hopefully these should seep through till Tuesday so seedlings to do and that's the watering done I'll quickly show you these because they are putting on quite a bit of growth now this is the uh, the cauliflower so lots of those have come through which is good but the burning question is when do I put them out it's a bit late today so that might have to be a job next weekend uh, but look at the uh, sunflowers huge growth on those and lots of them I'm going to uh, leave them as they are for now I've got water in the uh, in the trays so these should be fine till Tuesday um, and I'm thinking next weekend I might be tempted to pop those out again the burning question is where do I dig out a little patch somewhere around the bees do I put them in that aggregate area where that's all overgrown what about the old pond again let me know what you think in the comments section that's that uh, second pallet collar put in. I've just emptied my last two bags of compost in there as well. It's going to need at least four more to uh, get it anywhere near the top. So let's get rid of those. That's how it's looking now. Get that filled up. I'll call in. Oh, I don't know. If I've got time today, I'll call in today. If not, I'll call in on the way home from work one night this week. Uh, progress though <laughs> I've given these a second watering just to keep them tidied tidied up ready for their two-day absence <laughs> hopefully though if the weather's like this they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't dry out so fingers crossed well we're into the afternoon already and I've not cleaned out the chicken coop or checked for eggs well I checked this morning but they've had a chance to lay now they've been scratching around with that uh, grass they've spread it everywhere <laughs> come on get eating it stop being so lazy uh, oh there's one missing yeah one of the black ones is not there so I'm guessing it's probably in the coop so there might be a bit of squawking now as I go in here let's take my bucket in with me to clear up all the mess where are you little chicken oh, there she is she's in that same nest box now there's nothing in there nothing in there she's it's okay it's okay don't panic oh dear big drama <laughs> well I was going to leave her there but uh, clearly two eggs three eggs clearly she was having none of it what are you looking at little red one <laughs> the red one thinks that I've got some food for it <laughs> oh dear you are funny right let me get those eggs out and uh, I need to get cleaned up and at some point I'll need to top of food and water do that last thing before I go I think 
Well, I've just uh, put some more bedding in the nest boxes and some more shavings on the floor. Got my five eggs. Thank you very much, chickens. So as a treat, I've been in their little vegetable garden and got them a load of lettuces. <laughs> and uh, quite happy now pecking away at those. You would think they'd never been fed, wouldn't you? There's all that grass. There's still some uh, seed I can see over there from this morning. And now they've got lettuce. They are spoiled. They really are. Well, I did promise you a look at the hive. And uh, I can see the bees are all moving around. So before it starts raining, I'll have a quick little look and see what we can see. So there's the hive. I've uh, brought up a super box with me just in case. So I'll mount the camera on the tripod. I've no clue how well you'll see this, so you'll have to forgive me if it doesn't come out great. You should be able to see the bees coming in and out there. So I'm just gonna grab my things. I'll move this up a little bit on the tripod and hopefully you'll see something. Right, let's take a little look and see what we can see. There are a couple of bees roaming around on the top. quite stuck down this so they're clearly building up to the top I can feel a lot of resistance on this okay wow look at that they're building up comb on the top on the top box lid. So let's just pop that there for a minute. We're gonna get a bit ruckusy now, so. A lot of bees on the top. concentrated in this middle the uh, the end one frames don't seem to have anything at all yeah they're all getting rowdy All the activity is going on in the middle here. The end frames are perfectly fine. But these middle frames are absolutely heaving. I think we'll take a, a frame out at the front just to give me a bit more space to work with. My beekeeper Simon's watching this. <laughs> you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. God, 
these middle frames are absolutely locked tight together stop it <laughs> they're all getting ruckusy See if we can get one of these out. This is heavy. Look at that. Lots of nectar in there. I don't see any. Oh, there's some capped cells at the top with honey. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. This side, top left of the frame. On this end frame, you can see... Well, I hope you can see. That's how it looks originally. But can you see how they're drawing out the little honeycomb structure onto that frame? So it goes from that to that and then they start filling that up. So the end frames, there's not much going on, but these middle ones, all kinds of activity, they're capping off cells there, so hopefully we're going to get some more bees out of that. Come on, out the way. Loads of capped off cells in there. So all the activity is around these first, what is there? One, two, three, four, five, six frames. That's where all the activity is. This is the centre one. Now yeah, look, We've got some cells coming out the bottom there, the bottom of the frame, right hand side as you look at it. Ah, there's the queen, I think. <laughs> well, everything seems to be fine in here. They're working away. 
so that's good these last three frames there's nothing in there at all let's just try this last one where they're actually working So they're busy working on that side, but just drawing out on that side. So they've got plenty of space. I don't need to put that other box on, the super. They've still got plenty of room in here to be working away. So I'll just tidy them back up and get that last frame in. <sighs> Absolutely roasting inside this suit. So let's get that frame in. Let's just nudge these back together. All right. And let's get this lid back on. And get the roof back on. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> well, that was roasting hot inside that suit. I mean, it's it's quite cool outside <laughs> but uh yeah absolutely roasting um hopefully you've seen something on that uh short clip of the hive once i've done a couple i'll be able to judge a little bit better where the uh the camera is best positioned so that you can see um but everything's nice inside the hive everything looks nice and healthy um, I've still got lots of space there. There's that front frame nearest the door that they're just drawing out the little honeycomb cells. Um, huge amounts of activity filling all of the little honeycomb cells with nectar and uh, little newbie larva in there. And then the last two cells, two, two frames, uh, again, just drawing out on those, ready to fill those up. Um, so yeah, really pleased with uh, how the bees are getting on. I'm guessing we're looking at probably another two or three weeks at this rate uh, before that bottom box is full and I'll need to put the, uh, the first of the super uh, boxes on top. But uh, I'll just keep having a little look. If I can get it done every week, I will. If I can't, every couple of weeks. Uh, there's just so much stuff <laughs> to do. Uh, talking about which, we're halfway through the afternoon already. I'm pleased the rain has held off because I've managed to get quite a bit done already, uh, particularly with the grass. So I'm tempted to get this coffee down me and then just see if I can't run around that little middle section uh and uh, there's still plenty of clover on that uh northern part of the field for the bees to go at and as i've been walking around i've noticed more and more um flowers coming through the bramble bushes now they're starting to flower the rose bushes are flowering have been for a week or two actually the um i can't think of its name elderberry trees are all flowering so I'm not worried about losing the clover on that middle section. There's still plenty of variety for the bees to go at. 
Anyway, enough talking. Let me get this coffee down me and we'll have one final push uh, to see how much I can get done before we have to end today. Well, I'm just letting the little red tractor cool down a bit. I couldn't resist doing uh, this centre section. It's the hardest bit to do because the ground is uneven. You remember, regular viewers, the ant hill, mall hill, whatever you want to call it, problem. That is gradually been resolved. The more I do it, the more it flattens down. But you've still got all of these trees to contend with, which is not easy. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's done. And I also took the opportunity you can see the difference in length of grass here, look, where I haven't been uh, versus where I have been. I've gone all the way around the aggregate pile, just trimmed back where I strimmed yesterday. I've run over it with the mower just to try and keep it as far under control as I can. I will develop this centre section over time. I am moving stuff like borage into here and some seedlings into here, but this will be like a rough and ready wild patch. But it's all done, all around the car, the entrance to the driveway is done. It's looking very, very nice. Very nice. So, the bees have still got God knows how much clover, a lot, <laughs> to go at in this northern side. Uh, so I'll leave that for another week, give them a chance to forage. That wind's picking up a lot now. I think this rain is on its way. I've been lucky really to get everything done that I wanted to get done today. Well, you never get everything done, but I've achieved a lot. It's looking really nice really nice so get myself back in the cabin get sorted out get packed up and uh, it'll be home time again another weekend gone it just goes so quick Well that's it for another day and another weekend. Compost piles are filling up. Chickens are busy scratching around with their fresh grass. It's surprising how quick this breaks down because if you remember this end bay was full from last year's compost and look at it now. It's about two thirds full. It is just breaking down really really quickly. But that's good, I'm not complaining. There might not seem to be a lot there, but when you get it out, there will be. And hopefully as we go through the year, we'll fill these bins and just repeat. It's a bit like everything I do down here. <laughs> it's repeat. <laughs> repeat until you get it right and then copy it. So, everything's locked up. Polytunnel's locked up. Gate's looking nice with its coat of paint, as is that... Uh, extra pallet collar on that arched raised bed. Grass is looking really good. It takes forever to do this, hour after hour, but it is worth it. It'll be interesting to see in a week what's growing on this field because there's more and more wild flowers every time I look. And the bees are fine, they've got plenty of over to go out here this side of the field is still absolutely rammed with it can't believe how much there is this year hope you enjoyed the little look at the bees uh, hopefully when they do the edit 
you're actually seeing something <laughs> but they're all there busy in themselves backwards and forwards backwards and forwards they are proper industrious little machines those bees they just don't stop anyway I need to get myself off home the day is gone again thankfully the rain held off for me so that's good hope you're enjoying your weekend and I look forward to seeing you next weekend well that's it for this video I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you if you did like the video please do click on the like button also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so as always welcome any comments questions or suggestions you might have how did the bee video come out it wasn't too bad to be fair a um, little bit of practice to make perfect for the next time so you can see uh, a little bit clearer but hopefully it was enough to give you an idea of what it's like inside the hive anybody else taking care of bees or for that matter anything else any kind of animals let me know what you're up to in the comments section below but for now thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video